loved this movie. I'm Tim Heidecker, and you're watching On Cinema at the Cinema. Quiet on set! It's On Cinema at the Cinema with me, your host, Tim Heidecker. Hi, everybody. Welcome to another episode of On Cinema at the Cinema. I'm your host, Tim Heidecker. So great to be back with you here with my special guest, Greg Turkington. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of On Cinema at the Cinema. Greg, it's good to see you. I was going to say it's good to see you again, but I don't know how true that would be because we've been spending a lot of time together. That's true. Uh, I mean, not that I'm, it's just that I, I, it, I've literally been around you pretty much 24-7 now and for the past couple of weeks. your turn to make the popcorn tonight. All <laughs> right. Well, we've been uh, going back and forth between here and Hawaii, my timeshare in Hawaii, while we're shooting. Uh, we've got a couple of uh, episodes of Decker in the can, and i got to tell you, it has been so much fun. It's exactly what I dreamed it would be. It's uh, coming along real well. And uh, back here the home front, staying at Greg's apartment, has been an interesting experience. This guy, no uh, question about it, is a movie buff because he's constantly watching movies. And it's driving me nuts a little bit because um, the other night, uh, we had to, I ended up taking over his bedroom because I said, if you're going to be watching movies constantly in that living room, then why don't I move into your bedroom and uh, make that sort of my own master suite, little one... Uh, studio apartment almost and that's what we've been doing so at least when I'm here in LA I can have some peace and quiet but uh, that's I appreciate that yeah I know it's cool I mean I sometimes I want to get in there and access some of the movies I have a lot of movies on shelves in there and I don't want to wake you up so I can't get to it but since I have lots of movies in the living room I just watch something else well like I was saying the goal for this week should be to get all the movies out of the bedroom and that way you don't have to ever get in there because uh, that would be easier for everybody um, all right, and the movies today, we got to go with a movie called Focus. Two directors here, uh, Glenn D F Ficarera, Joan, John Requa, two directors. I don't know what's wrong with one. Uh, we got starring one of my favorite, Will Smith, Margaret Robbie, and Rodrigo Santoro. And this is a veteran grifter takes a young, attractive woman under his wing, but things get complicated when they become romantically involved. And uh, this is a great movie, Focus. Uh, it's kind of a great, almost like a, f it is a, pro a film camera would be in focus. That's the way this movie is. A very focused, very sharp movie. And um, I think it's an appropriate movie, appropriate title for a movie that's very sharp and in focus. And, uh, you know, you don't have to say anything more than two words, Will Smith, and I'm there. Um, and I love this movie, Five Bags of Popcorn and Five Drinks of Soda. That's an interesting point you brought up about the focus of the movie and the title, Focus, because the movie is very focused, focus on the story. And with two directors, I think it's easier to get that kind of focus because yeah. they can share some of the mundane aspects of being a director and focus on the story and on the great actors like Will Smith, who I do think uh, it's about time he gets an Oscar. How many bags? Uh, I would focus in on five bags and uh, throw in a little... Uh, a little plastic, what are those called? Not a tele, not a tele, uh, what are those things called? A microscope. Microscope. Yeah, just throw in a little plastic microscope as a keepsake. All right, and we have Lazarus. How many bags? I give it five already, pay attention. And uh, our next movie is Laz Lazarus, directed by David Gelb, starring Olivia Wilde, Don Donald, Glo Donald Glover, Mark Duplass, and Evan Peters. A group of medical students discover a way to bring dead patients back to life. And this was a thriller and a fun movie uh, to sort of, one of the play, get to play one of those what if games and what if Frankenstein came back to, to life, almost like a horror movie. Uh, great movie, wonderful performance from Donald, should be uh, Danny Glover here, sorry, Danny Glover. It says Donald Glover. No, it was, da it was Donald Glover, Danny Glover wasn't in this. Okay. You're thinking is, of... Um, Black guy here uh, named Donald. Uh, this really Hills Cop for, um, no, Lethal Weapon. Right. Lethal Weapon 1, 2, 3, and 4. Okay. Well, whoever it was gave top-notch work. Uh, thanks for watching that movie, and it's Five Bags of Popcorn from Donald Glover. Yeah, I thought it was interesting, the idea of coming back from the dead is a topic that's interested people for decades. And in a sense, it's, it's sort of the new era of classic movie monsters like your Frankensteins and your Wolfman and Mummy. Uh, Lazarus could fit right in with that whole crowd, and I hope that there's a sequel and uh, that it develops even beyond that into a whole series. All right, why don't we uh, jump into uh, five bags of popcorn? Five bags of popcorn and uh, anything else? A four leaf clover sort of is good luck that Lazarus continues on and does turn into a popular series. 
All right, well, um, that's great. So now we have here Popcorn Classics with, uh, presented by Greg Turkington. Hey. This week's Popcorn Classic is Son of the Pink Panther. And uh, my little chickadee, as W.C. Fields would have said if he was hosting this segment, which he was supposed to be because this is actually a rewritten uh, Golden Age comedy segment that because you killed it now. Mm -hmm. I'm handling it, so, um, but my little chickadee, it's not Peter Sellers in Son of the Pink Panther. This is actually a later Pink Panther movie with Roberto Benigni. I have a couple issues with it. Um, I think it's strange that they put three stars on the cover when it's clearly a five bag quality movie. Uh, so that's probably my biggest complaint with it. But other than that, I think it's that's perfect. That's why, not to interrupt your segment, but that's why I didn't want to do stars. Everybody does stars. All the newspapers do stars, and we don't want to do that. We want to do something different, something a uh, little bit more interesting and more, a little more colorful. That's well, why that's we do how I felt about popcorn. Golden Age comedy was that was a little bit different than okay. popcorn classics. Thank you very much, Greg, for bringing the us segment. the insight of this movie. Great segment. Uh, finally tonight, I just want to take this opportunity because this show truly is my forum to express myself, and uh, a little something that I picked up from values.com, which has been sitting with me all week, is that I need to express myself from my heart. And this message is uh, not for everybody. It's not certainly not for Greg. It's not for the general public, but it is for one person only, and that would be Ayaka, my love, who I am so sorry about how things went down between us. And I know we've been in touch, and I want to keep getting in touch. And uh, I want to let you know that I would like our lives together to be meaningful and full of love and um, I'm here for you whenever you want to take it to the next level. Um, I'm in town, you know, except for when we're in Hawaii. So please, I've given you my phone number, my email, and different ways for you to contact me. But at this point, it is on you, I think, to contact me because you are the mother of my son, Tom Cruise Heidecker, and I want to be a part of his life, okay? And I want, he to, I want him to be a part of my life, and I want us to spend together the rest of time. So, you are my love and my heart, and I worship you, and don't fool yourself. I know you're watching. I know you're listening to me right now. If we get back together, we could become the power couple of, of Hollywood. Our Where are you guys going to live? Our family could be strong together, and Tom Cruise Heidecker could be almost as famous as the little orphan Annie, or even as successful and powerful as Tom Cruise himself, with my boys named after it, Tom Cruise. And uh, that's my message to you, Ayaka, my love. And that's as, as you have your segment, that's my segment. Thank you, guys, and we'll see you next week on On Cinema. Up, you got, you've got to listen for me to finish on On Cinema at the cinema. Thank you. So this was. Uh, I heard you watching this the other night. It's loud. Yeah, it's, it was, a lot of sound effects and whatnot. The sound design on it is very loud, but uh, you know, it doesn't really interfere with the movie. There's a way for you to use the headphones at all for watching movies. It's not really that. the same experience. You want to feel like you're in a theater. You don't wear headphones in a theater. Mm -hmm. Okay.